what is going on ladies and gentlemen your boy hunter x here bringing us another episode of project ozone 3 mythic mode with that being said let's get into today's episode Alrighty guys, so in between episodes, I did a little bit of prep work because I am going to actually upgrade that on camera. Now, the reason why I wanted to do it on camera is because the fabricator needs the empowered payless, okay? So to get empowered payless, we're gonna need some cyan dye and some prismarine. Prismarine is gotten through nether quartz and the atomic reconstructor. Now I actually did prepare for today's video somewhat uh there is some stuff that i didn't prepare for for example i we are going to build a distillery tower today because we're going to need it for like i said oil processing and doing all that fun gb hbg stuff now one of the things i think i'm not sure if this to be true though is i don't think our oil will ever run out per se uh i think it just once it hits a certain point it becomes very 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 slow so yeah hopefully that's the case but i'm not entirely sure uh also fun fact by the way a quick and easy shortcut for this if you're looking for one is you could always combine a block it is way more cheaper than doing just two sets you can do a whole entire block get nine for one set which is super nice um i believe that's not in project equivalents uh unfortunately but in this pack i'm pretty sure you can just do something like this and uh you know get nine instead of one right which is super good super efficient super easy uh right sequential fabricator uh needs cyan dye which is gonna need some cactus green uh, we don't have any green. Okay, so we don't have any cactus. Do we have snad in the pack? We do not. Um, cactus though. Hmm. We have one cactus seed. Let's let's plant it. No, I'm. I don't want to. Hmm. This might take a hot minute. Actually, if we're smart about this, we do something like this. I think with those pesky old crop stick crop sticks we should be able to bone meal it potentially i think again that's me not being 100 percent certain by the way you can also 10 10 10 cactus seeds if you want they'll grow super fast and this is actually really good if you want to do um the, the original method out out okay i i got worried to do destroy my thing but yeah yeah now we should be able to basically bone meal our cactus and get unlimited cactus how how neat is that for basically free right we only need it for like two seconds though boom 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 excuse me by the way we have seventy-three thousand <clears throat> iron that's a lot of dang iron man holy holy cow that's an insane amount of iron <laughs> and we're gonna eventually hopefully go through all of it right maybe <laughs> that's probably never gonna be the case though honestly because like how are you gonna go through like hundreds of thousands of iron? i guess you could right oops i didn't mean to do that what is even this hooked up to power wise uh probably this over here if i had to guess i i, I honestly don't remember i built this like two thousand billion years ago and i have no idea and just like that guys ladies and gentlemen we have powered uh, empowered palest crystal by the way i also did set this up in between uh last episode and this episode uh an apple farm i'm pretty sure i can also make apples with the essence that we have but i don't think we can just yet i think you actually need nature essence for that unfortunately uh fabricator good and then i should be able to make that now i was also going to make the kit the tier 2 kit but i forgot to make it so let's make it now 
it shouldn't be too difficult to make realistically where's the silver at yeah there you go beautiful man i really wish hmm i'm trying to think of like a, there's a one mod pack i'm trying to think of there's an, a mod pack that i wanted to check out that allows you to start with an ae system i i really vaguely remember captain sparkles and zine doing it i don't remember it was um you were trapped in an me system what's that mod pack called i honestly don't remember now i remember con doing uh compact claustrophobia for a little while i should go back and do that pack at some point maybe sometime on stream oh we need eight right eight nether quartz um oh man we need a, oh, there's so many things that we need to do it's literally insane uh like for example figuring a way to auto craft another quartz right or auto craft another quartz automatically do netherrack is what i meant to say i was also going to look at the culinary generator because hear me out tell me that this is not a good idea we have a ton of fish like i mean a ton of raw fish and cook and like all this fish right like why not cook it right cook it and use it for power we also have a lot of lily pads as well oh i didn't even know that this gets you ink sacks huh today i learned that you get ink sacks from sifting neat that's actually really cool that's something that i didn't know or probably knew and just wasn't paying too much of attention because i only use that thing to get like the sieve the sieve enchantments basically that's the only reason why i use that damn that damn thing is to get the sieve enchantments because i'm pretty sure that's like the only way to get them is through fishing so that's a bummer right and we should be able to take this right we should be able to come over here and break this poopy thing and I think I have to move this now. Right? Unfortunately, but that's fine. Not that big of a deal. Uh, I need to make sure I lock in a recipe for you. If I don't, you're not going to like it. Also, yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing's very awesome. It's the bottom of outputting right oh no it's this all right you should be extracting and inserting on the same side it doesn't look like it, it can keep up yeah my item conduits can't keep up with the craft speed and at which this is crafting i'm trying to think how can i resolve this problem also how much power are you using I, I wasn't paying attention to that oh this is full these item conduits are not <laughs> fast at all they're pretty darn slow no i'm looking at this thing this thing is using 40 rf per tick all right so you're doing 80 so you're fine uh you need to come here all right i'm moving you to here you're gonna do insert on green you're extracting from the bottom and you're extracting why are you extracting from there you shouldn't be you shouldn't be doing anything from there extract from here push the bottom wow that even can't even keep up okay no that's fine okay but the question is are you good now oh dude this thing is crafting so fast it's literally crafting so fast okay this is good this is good news except this is not good news 
All right, excuse me, sir. I don't appreciate you attacking me. Oh wait, that's without the upgrades. It's gonna like chew through all of our essence so fast. Okay, hold on. This is probably doing more than what we're, you know, pushing out of this thing. Right? Am I right in that? I'm saying that. Let's, let's wait for this. To, let's wait for this to fill up. Okay. So it seems like oh, it's using more than sixty hours per check. Okay. Let, let's let this fill up, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. So I decided to go a different approach with this one. I'm gonna go with the other method, the method that we've been doing with our boy in the Ender tanks. So we're gonna grab this, 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 this. We're gonna set this up nice and easy. That way there's plenty of power to go around. Everybody. Oh, I, I also realized that this is also gonna need power as well. That's gonna be a little tricky, I feel. We'll figure it out here. There's no water here. Okay. I wanna also make sure I'm not breaking any of the plants. Good. Oh God, how am I going to do this? Probably it's probably best if we just do it this way. So on the bottom here, there's going to be an ender tank. You're going to do that. I'm just going to make sure that that ender tank is pushing fluid up into this tank. Beautiful. Oh, but yeah, 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 th that's fine. You're going to do that. You're going to put this here. You're going to push and pull on the top. Like that. And then you're going to basically MLG it like that. So you're going to get your power. It's 80 R per tick. And I think this does like 190 or it's doing 94. So, oh, this is doing 80. This is doing 40. 94. Uh, are we producing enough power? It seems like we are. So that's fine, I guess. All right. Well, now we're now we're cooking. Now we're actually cooking. Now we're actually not making that fast enough. So my plan, I guess, is we're going to do away with that. We're going to do that. And we're going to do a little special something with a little special item called the translocator. I don't like to use these a lot because they cause a lot of lag, but this is one of those rare cases where I'm going to want to because we're going to need a crap ton of charcoal. And I mean a crap ton. So go. Go to your heart's ex extent. It's actually not pulling fast enough. Or extracting fast enough. We're going to need to like pull from the side. Oh, we can't pull from the side. That's right. This is limited by what the conduit can do down there. We're really having to do this right now. All right, hold on. Give me another set of translocators. We're doing this right now. We are doing this right now. Uh, translocators, please. And give me two sets because we're probably going to need it. <laughs> For this upgrade i wasn't planning to spend this long on this but clearly i don't know what the heck i'm doing you go there i can probably put the factorizer there you there you there put the glowstone i don't know if this is going to import fast enough that's my worry. 
Are you going to be able to keep up with the demand, sir? Oh, hell no. No shot. <laughs> no shot, bro. Yeah, I didn't think so. That is cooking. So much charcoal, so fast. It's literally unbelievable. I mean, it's one item per tick, right? So every 20 ticks is like every like 20 items. Which is just nuts. And we're just going to let it just... We're going to let it go AWOL with the charcoal, right? Because I, I don't see no reason why not to. Let it just go absolute AWOL. And now we should just be able to let that run infinitely without it like ever running out, right? Hopefully. Okay, so our next part of this episode, which I was, you know, hopefully going to get into like, yeah, I don't know, like 20 minutes ago or something. Uh, you know, we're going to, oh, this is full. These are full. We're just going to let it fill up. It, it should put at least like three, uh, 15 stacks. I know that we don't have that right now, but I'm sure we'll be fine. I can also upgrade it as well if I need if I need to. But yes, we're getting oil. So today I want to build the distillation tower. The distillation tower is going to help us get all the other fluids that we we need in terms of like um like the lubricant and the the, the diesel and the everything else that we need. So to get into that, we're gonna need a few things we're going to need probably a lot actually i'm pretty sure this project requires a lot of iron like i'm pretty sure the distillation tower requires a lot of iron but also a fair bit of steel as well for steel, the steel scaffolding so if we look at oil processing distillation tower it requires 25 steel scaffolding which is a lot this is like peak steel, I feel. So we need 25 of these. That's the wrong recipe. I get that recipe wrong every single time. And it's freaking annoying. Every time, by the way. Without doubt, without fail. Uh, steel scaffolding. Uh, we need 25 of them. Which means we need four sets of these. Because they come in packs of six. Okay. Steel scaffolding. That's pack one. And then we need 30 steel st steel slabs. Or no, there is steel. Is it steel sheet metal slabs? No, 30 steel scaffolding slabs. means even more steel scaffolding usually yep yeah. mm-hmm i'm gonna try and make like i don't know a fair minute like we're gonna run out of steel if i had a guess we're gonna run out of steel real quick doing this right because we need 30 of these uh oh i just made too many my bad all right steel scaffolding slabs 17 fluid pipes which thank god is just iron right it's it's six iron plates per by the way which is in first three sets should be good and then one redstone engineering block which i believe we have one yeah we have two actually because i think we made extra last And then four heavy machine engineering blocks. That's also a big steel consumptioner, right? Because it's steel plates to copper. I have copper gears. I don't have steel plates. How much steel do we have left? Oh, 124. Yeah, we're, we're chilling. We're big chilling. 
on the steel. We can also make more as well, don't forget. We, I think like three or four episodes ago, maybe five episodes ago at this point, we made the um, pyrolytic converter upgrade, which allows us to make, turn coal into coal coke, which then turns into steel in the alloy smeltery with iron and coal coke. But we do have a pretty solid set of uh, things. Oh, we're out of, already out of copper gears. Wow, that was fast. Alrighty, so we got the steel uh, heavy machinery block things. Now we're on to the iron sheet metal, which I believe is super simple, actually. It's literally just four pieces of iron plates, but I don't think we have enough to make 60. Yeah, there's no way we have enough to make 60. Yeah, we're out. We're already out. We're already out. All right, I'm going to go smash some iron plates. We'll be right back. All righty. Let's see if that's going to be enough. I am hoping it is enough. Perfect. Awesome. And now we get to do the lovely part of building this damn thing. I think we do this. Plus this, right? Yes. Display of the distillery tower. Oh, God. This is going to be... This is going to make your eyes hurt. Trust me. Oh, God. You're not ready for this. Oh, this is going to be a big pain to build. Like, I mean, big pain to build. All right, let's get all of our resources on our freaking hot bar. For one, so you, 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 and you. It starts off. This is actually, like, I enjoy using this, uh, uh, Wait, where's our pipes? Oh, right here. I'm blind. And then our heavies. Our heavies. By the way, this is the whole thing, by the way. This is the whole thing. We basically got to build this whole thing now. And it's just going to get more and more crazier. Right? It's actually, it's actually a really cool multi-block, not gonna lie. But it's a huge pain in the backside to freaking build. Like, I mean, huge pain in the backside to build this damn thing. I'm pretty sure it's the scaffolding. No. Oh my god. That's why I hate, I, I, I can't stand this thing. You can't shift click. And it's so frustrating. Because if you shift click. It like. Unbinds the freaking. Stupid. Thing. Really? And apparently you can climb immersive pipes. Just found that out. This thing's really annoying to build. Honestly, I might just charge my jetpack and have my jetpack do it. Do it with my jetpack on. Because this thing's incredibly annoying to build. Without creative mode flight. Like, incredibly annoying. As you can tell. This thing is just... It's also massive. I wonder what the mod pack or the mod developer was on when they made this thing. Cause this thing is just insanity. Like, bruh. But it, I mean, it does the job done. It does the job right, right? It processes oil into the, the right materials, I guess. I don't know. What's your favorite food right now? Do you have a favorite food right now? Because I know I do. It's called Oreo cookies. I mean, technically it's not a, f I mean, it, it is a food, but not a food. Uh, I don't cook. Actually, you know what? I do cook. I cook ramen noodles. That is basically all I can cook is a basic set of ramen noodles, right? My favorite flavor. I mean, I used to absolutely love beef flavor or I mean chicken flavor, but now my newest, Favorite flavor has got to be the beef one. 
beef ramen right now is 1000% the way to go. Hmm. Having a nice set of beef ramen for lunch every day is, yo, man, it just, it hits different, man. It just hits different. And it's, it's so good, man. Like I can, I can eat that for the rest of my life every day without fail for the rest of my life. Like easy. Uh, pipe. And then you're gonna make me put down one more pipe and boom it's fully built that only took like twenty thousand minutes to build but it's fine it works it's gonna work i mean i hope and there isn't like some like weird bug or something right knowing my luck it there will be some like weird bug like oh you have to rebuild it mm, nah i'm good it can stay on the shelf at that point. I'll wait. Click. I believe it's like click. There you go. Okay, there's your redstone input. And your power input's right here. Beautiful. More than six blocks away from where I need to be. <laughs> of course. You can make more redstone, right? Lead. Head. Lead stone these are super easy and cheap and available how about you though are you gonna be a absolute monster about it no good oh god oh god run away run away it's fine don't worry i've got troll protection it's fine i don't got pro i don't got troll protection from these guys though so okay Get him out of here. Get him out of here, sir. Oh, nope. There you go. Gotta love how I'm breaking a hardened flux pipe with my hands. Mm-hmm. Just punch it. It'll be fine. They say. All right. We should be draining lots of power. Right now. Like, lots. Power, but to be fair, we aren't really distilling yet. And then if I do something like this, we're gonna want oh, I'm gonna want three different black hole tanks, one for each different fluid type. Oh, and we're gonna need ender fluid conduits for that, huh? Mm hmm. That's right, we're gonna want these bad boys. Pressurize is gonna need hardened glass. If, can I use quartz glass for this, or is it like specifically want hardened glass? It probably specifically wants hardened glass. Oh no, I can use fuse quartz. Cool. Okay. But you want vibrant alloy, which um we can do in the arc furnace, but we're gonna have to do it in this. I mean, it's not terrible, but in theory, I should be able to do this. Uh, do we have, hold on, with us right now? We don't, of course we don't. We don't have any levers. Uh, levers. Just because I want levers to like, be able to like, control whether we're, you know, doing it or not. So you should start processing. You're getting oil. And how are you doing like power wise? You're, you're draining. You're basically set up pretty good. Nice. And then if we want, let's just. Oh, that is also something you noted. You are going to get bitumen as well pooping out the back of this thing so you're gonna want to definitely deal with that so you can make asphalt concrete with it that's basically it realistically so yeah you can just throw that into like a barrel or something because that's like that's the only byproduct you can get out of it anyway 
capacity upgrade. This is my last one, so I'm gonna go kill some more withers or something. Uh, yeah. You, you're gonna basically do that. But you're out of time for today's episode. So with that being said, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, I mean, look at this, how massive this thing is compared to me. Holy cow. It reminds me of like a SpaceX, like rocket power thing. Anyways, I digress. With that being said, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please do me a huge favor. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, ding down that notification bell. Become a part of the Hunter Tribe. Help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. As always, I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. Till next time. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.